Hey guys, um, I'm gonna do my breakfast that I have every morning and I have been having for about a year now. Um, and all it is is a smoothie and oatmeal. Now, the smoothie usually changes every once in a while. I try to keep the ingredients relatively the same. Uh, apple and orange, some berries. Here we've got um, blueberries and strawberries. And then some greens. Uh, I'm gonna have some spinach. And then I'm gonna cut some uh, Swiss chard and both red and white and then some kale off my hydroponics put it in there um, and then a little bit of chia seeds and water and then the oatmeal stays the same because I love it it's my favorite um, and if you guys have tried it you know if not I highly recommend it and all it is is some dates uh, banana I've got a frozen one here and cinnamon. Now there's half a cup of oats and then I usually add water um, to make it, you can add as much or as little as you want to make it as creamy or as runny as you want it. Um, so just play around with that. But I use water, it's, it's easy, but you can use soy milk or um, you know almond milk to make it even more creamier and um, yeah, it's amazing. I love it. So uh, I usually get the oatmeal prepped and then start cooking it on a low temperature while I uh, chop up everything and um, toss it in the smoothie. And then about halfway through the smoothie's done, take off the oatmeal, let it cool down, drink my smoothie, and then by the time it's cooled down and I'm done my smoothie, the oatmeal is ready to go. So. Uh, let's just get started. Actually, you know what? I just realized I totally forgot one of the main ingredients in my smoothie that um, makes it so amazing. And I got it because I'm looking at it and it's really watery. Um, now, what I use to make it nice and creamy is an avocado. And I totally forgot to put it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in now. And um, that will vastly improve the consistency of it. Now, this is almost done. Um, what I like to do is just turn off the burner and let it kind of sit on the hot, uh, the hot spot just to thicken up a little more because I can kind of tell when I pour it how fast it falls out of the spoon, whether it's kind of done for me. And I like it to take a little long kind of droop down in there. That's actually almost perfect. I might not even leave it on the burner. Okay, let's put that to the side, let it cool down. I'm gonna blend this up and then um, I save half of it. I just put it in my Nalgene over here just because it'll be, it's a lot to take in for the, for the morning and then fill this guy up with water and then put in a little lemon juice. Um, 
almost all the way to the top and then screw it on tight. Give it a good shake, get it all mixed in there. And what that does is the water gets rid of all the air and then adding a little bit of lemon juice prevents oxidation. So I'm just trying to save as many nutrients as I can because I don't like to um, save smoothies for later because then I feel like the vitamin content is decreasing, you know, with every minute. So let's go ahead and blend this up. Mmm, that's good. Doesn't look like much, but it's really, really good for you. And um, it doesn't taste bad. You get those greens in. I don't really like to eat vegetables, or at least uh, those greens by themselves. So um, I just kind of hide it with all the fruit. And it's, you know, an amazing way to just kind of get it down there. Alrighty, so there you go. Here's the oatmeal all done. Um, it's extra thick, that's how I like it. But uh, again, if you guys wanna do it a little bit more runnier, um, you can always add a little bit more after it's cooled down or just take it off the burner earlier so that it doesn't uh, boil away all the water. And then you'll have it a little bit more runnier. And yeah, so just out here enjoying the view. Um, eating my oatmeal. Sometimes I come out here if it's nice, just kind of sit down, um, finish it off, relax. Like I said, I've been eating it for almost a year now, um, and I'll probably eat it for another 10 years at least because I just love, I love that oatmeal, and I've been doing smoothies every morning um, for at least seven years now. Play around with the smoothie. Um, you know, you can add anything you like if you if you want to add little powders and stuff like that, or um, your favorite fruits. Do that. Make it make it sweeter. Um, I know mine aren't usually sweet. Just when I feed them to people, they they tend to tell me they're not as sweet as they'd like them. But that's just because I I guess I put a lot of greens and and water in, so it's kind of plain. Makes it a little bit more plain, but. Uh, you know that's okay for me and if it's okay for you I highly recommend it because it's amazing and the oatmeal um, you know it's honestly my favorite uh, I don't think I'd change it um, sometimes I add a little cocoa powder make it a little chocolatey but um, usually I just kind of stick to the stick to the regular old dates and bananas and cinnamon it's a really ironclad breakfast it gets your micros in with the smoothie and then you get some carbs in the oatmeal. It's big, um, so it fills you up. It's an awesome first meal to get you going. Uh, if you if you don't like to eat a lot in the morning, then just, I'd say maybe take a little bit out of the smoothie because um, that'll fill you up because it's all the liquid right in your stomach. So make that maybe a little bit smaller. Hope you guys enjoy and take care.